you've probably never wanted to make anything like this in Blender before. But now you do. Keep watching. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Derek Elliott. Oh my god, my voice just cracked. I should probably stop the funny business. I'm Derek Elliott from Dirk.com, and I got another fire tutorial for you today. We're going to be talking about how to make a bloopity bloppity, like you saw in the intro. Very advanced shape, but very easy to make. A lot of people ask me how to do this, so I figured I'd settle it once and for all and show you how to do it. So I have a basic scene set up here. Um, yeah, it's basic. Let's add some stuff to it by pressing Shift A. I'm going to add a mesh. And I'm going to make that mesh an icosphere. And now I'm tempted to move this up. But, and I will move it up. But before I move it, I need to up the subdivisions. If you move an object after you create it, all those little options just run off. So you have to do it before. So I want a lot of geometry for my wavity wavies, for my bloopity bloppy. So um, I'm cranking that subdivisions up to five, six. Exactly. Okay. So I'm cool with that. Move it up a little bit um, so that it's floating in the bloopity bloppity air. Let's uh, let's get my camera kind of moved up a little here so that I can be right on focus for the bloppity bloopity wibbity wavities. Um, and this is really all you need to do to get started. So here we are started and we're going to add a displacement modifier. That's going to do this crazy thing. Actually, that was really super not crazy. It just got bigger. If you thought that was crazy, leave this tutorial because the next part is going to blow your freaking mind. Okay. So we need, um, we need some type of data to add the displacement and we're going to use a procedural texture. Don't try to spell that. I'm going to press new. I'm going to name it procedural. <laughs> I just tried to spell it. Um, pretty sure I got that right. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to look it up. Okay. So not environment texture. Okay. Go back to the modifier, click this button and it will take you to, yeah. Show texture in texture tab. Bam. Don't want an image or movie. I want to use a procedural texture like I mentioned. I have an ongoing battle in my head how to say this one, Stutchy, Stucky. Now I think it might be Stussy. Someone please tell me in the comments. Okay. So we're going to use Stussy. And our wavy wavies are way too wavy. So I want to, maybe I shouldn't say too wavy. I should say too strong. What could we do? Oh. The strength. We'll turn the strength down. Looking good. Um, get it to something you like. You know, you might want really wavity wavies or maybe not so wavity wavies. Uh, I like something like that. I'm also going to change. Let's go back to the texture tab here. I want there to be more waves, like smaller waves. So I'm going to turn this scale down. That's looking pretty dope. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Now, it's not moving. It's not doing anything except when I like move these sliders. So I could animate those sliders, but I want the size to stay the same. I want my wavity wavies just as wavy as they were when they started. I was going to try to make a poem up there, but it didn't work. So I'm going to add an empty. Let's make a cube. Gosh, they, the empties always just start off bigger than you want them to be but you can change the size over here. That doesn't mess with the scale. This is just the visual size of the empty. Let's kind of move that over there. It is an empty, so you're not gonna see it. We're just gonna use it to control the mapping of this displacement modifier. So the texture coordinates right now are local, which means they're just linked to this object, but I can change it to another object by selecting object right there, and then use this little eyedropper to pick my empty. 
it changed a little bit. That's because now it is using the coordinates of this empty. So when I move this empty, it does that. Pretty cool. So now all we need to do is animate this empty. So I'm going to go crazy with like multiple directions and stuff. So I'm going to change my location. This is my keying set down here. So when I insert a keyframe, it'll insert keys for all these. So let's watch that. Let's, uh, let's start with it. Something like right there, insert a keyframe. And now you're going to want to copy these values exactly. So pause the video if you need to. And then we're going to move down to frame 120, which will be the end of this five second, 24 frames per second. Do your math animation. And I'm going to move this over here, move it up, move it back, change the rotation to something wild, insert more keyframes. And now if you need to pause the video again, make sure you get those exactly how they were. And so now we have this empty moving. Let's press play. Shift spacebar into full screen. And uh, we'll just admire this for a minute while we wait for all those people that thought you had to copy the numbers exactly. <laughs> Freaking noobs. You never have to copy anything exactly in a tutorial. In fact, you shouldn't. So a lesson to you guys who have been paused typing in those numbers for the past five minutes. So the rest of us, let's move on. This is looking good. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, the rest is material. So if you want to leave the tutorial here, maybe you already left with all my bad jokes. Maybe you didn't. Thanks for staying. Let's set up some materials. I'm pressing Shift Z over here. I love black and white. I really do. It's just easy, but uh, you just have to do other stuff these days. So let's get a little trendier here. Um, this is my base material just on that backdrop. Let's change that to like a <sighs> pink. Yeah, it's pretty trendy. Oh, wait, no, that's not pink. That's coral. Get your colors right. You fools. Okay. Coral looks pretty trendy. Um, now we need a trendy material over here. Let's press new. Name it to um, Woobly because that's what this thing's called. It's a Woobly Wobbly. Or did I say Wibbly Wobbly? I can never remember the scientific name of what we're making here. I'm going to change this shader to a principled shader, which you know is my favorite. Let's uh, let's pick a crazy color. Actually, you know what would be really trendy? If instead of making this like just a color, we made it like metal. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Drag the metallic all the way up. And now it's now it's metal. That's so metal, bro. Okay, I'm going to turn the roughness down a little bit. Um oh yeah, so so cool. Getting some nice reflections there. Let's make that metal like a like a rosy metal. Maybe like a maybe like a golden. If you guys have watched my uh, type tutorial, you can see I landed on the exact same colors. I must just think they're super awesome. So that looks pretty good. And there's a little, you know, mini tutorial on setting up some materials. Obviously, do whatever you like, but um we're going to go with this champagne gold and uh, make sure you copy it exactly. C6AD95. Gamma corrected. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the bloopity bloopity bloppity wavity lee david lee tutorial. And um, if you liked it, why don't you give me a thumbs up? If you want to see the next crazy tutorial why don't you subscribe thank you guys so much for watching give me the thumbs up leave some comments let me know what you thought and uh share with me your own wibbly wobbly wibbly dibblies i'll see you next time peace